Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to the common room. I just got back from a trip to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Universal Studios Orlando. And this video is going to be part one of my Universal haul. Now this video is dedicated to one of my favorite things to collect, which is going to be wands. <laughs> While we were at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, um, Universal Studios did have a promotion going on that if you spent so much money in a store that you were eligible to get a free wand. Now every day they had just a few wands that you could choose from, uh, but because of that, I was able to pick up a few more wands than I had originally planned. So I do have eight wands to show you today. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first wand that I'm gonna be showing you is from one of my favorite characters. This is Nymphadora Tonks' wand, as you can see on the box. Now this box is a little different than the rest of them that I have to show you. Uh, this one is just a character box, so some of them come in the collector's boxes at Universal. This is the only one I have, it's just the character wand. But let me open this up here. So this one just doesn't have any of the fancy ribbon and material on the inside of it. But you can see. Tonks is one of my favorites, so I am very excited to have this wand. Let me get this out here so we can actually see the whole thing. So Tonks' wand is very unique. You can see that the handle of this wand is actually made to look like a pitcher plant. If you've ever seen those, it's very similar and it has some different, like almost like paint brush strokes on the wand. So one thing about Tonks' wand that is a little bit different, the, the reason that this is the only character wand that I bought at Universal is because most of these wands are Noble Collection replica wands. And when you buy this one at Universal Studios, it just comes in the box with the wand. The only difference is if you buy it on the Noble Collection website, you actually get a name tag, like a little clip-on golden name tag that says Nymphadora Tonks on it. Um, this one was one of the ones that I got for free. I would like to have that name tag with it. So that's the reason that she's the only character one that I have. Alrighty, so now we are going to open the next one. This one is for Newt Scamander. You can see this is the collector's box. So it is a little bit wider and it does come with a, this one comes with a blue top. So with the collector's boxes, they have the fabric on the inside. And then when you pull that away, there is a velvet material on the inside as well. So pulling out Newt's wand, you can see that this one is a lot thinner than the one that we just had from Tonks. His has on his handle, you can see there is blue on it, and on the inside it has a pearlescent abalone shell in there. And then my favorite part about his wand is you see these little marks on the middle of it. They're made to look kind of like teeth marks because Newt always has his wand in his mouth, which is very dangerous. You shouldn't do that. But his is a lot swishier, a lot thinner, but I do very much like it. So yeah, I'm very excited to get this one also. This was one of the ones I was really looking forward to getting. I knew I was gonna get this one on the way down. Okay, so let's put up Newts and see who else we have. This one is also from Fantastic Beasts. This is for poor Bettina Goldstein, or Tina as we know her. This one is also in the collector's box, but hers is a simpler, just gray color. So Tina's. Hers is a little chunkier than Newt's, but it's still pretty thin. Um, hers is rather simple, but I do like it. There's not a lot of embellishment or anything on here. I figured if I'm having Newt's, I need Tina's wand too. But I do, I do like the simplisticness of hers. So another one that I'm very happy to add to my collection. So the next one we have, Keeping in Theme, is also a Fantastic Beast wand. This one is in the collector's box, which is a more magenta pinkish purple color. 
Again, this just has the same material in here. Now this one is Theseus Scamander's wand. I really like Theseus's wand. I liked his when I saw it just because I feel like it's very unique compared to the other wands that you see just because of his handle. So his wand on the handle, it's like an amber color, also like shell-like. It's got the gold on the very end, and then you can see the wood. But I think I just like how unique his is. You don't see other wands that look like this. Now, one thing that I did notice about the Fantastic Beast wands is they all seem a little less chunky than the ones from the original Harry Potter films. You can see it's thinner. Like I said, with all of them, it just feels more swishy. I don't know. But so I have Newt and his brother and Tina. So I'm very happy that I was able to get those, start adding a little bit into my Fantastic Beasts collection because it's still something that I'm trying to add to. So this one that I'm going to show you is the last one that I have from the Fantastic Beasts franchise. I was very excited to get this one too. So this one is Nicholas Flamel and his is in a very pretty dark red, almost maroonish color. Now this one is also super unique. You pull his out here. There's Nicholas Flamel's wand. And you can see that his handle is just crazy. On the handle here, this, this curved piece looks like an antler or even like a bone. Not exactly sure. Very detailed with the gold finish on it. And when you hold it, it like curves with your fingers. So it's very easy to hold. It would be a very comfortable wand to have because you definitely feel like you have a good grip with it and you're not going to throw it around. But I was, I have seen his in some other videos and I just thought his was really cool. So I definitely wanted to pick that one up while we were there. All right, so this next wand is a little bit different. This wand actually isn't a character wand, but it is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Collector's Edition wand. So this is the Collector's Edition for 2020. Now, sadly, they did have these for 2018 and 2019. Um, but I didn't really know that they had them, so I wasn't able to pick them up. This one also comes in the collector's box. Now this one, these are interactive, so whenever you buy them, they do come with the map of Diagon Alley. And then if you flip it over, it's the map of Hogsmeade. And it shows you all of the interactive wand places in each of those parks for you so you can use the wand. Now these are so cool. So this guy is a little chunkier. You can see that he is mainly black, but then his handle is, is a mixture of black, gold, and silver, and very detailed, very pretty. I like the checkered and they have little, like little symbols or runes, I'm not sure. But yes, this one is the 2020 Collector's Edition, so I'm excited to see what they're going to do for 2021. I really like this one. I needed to start collecting these so I can get them each year. Now I have two more left to show you. This next one is a little different than the rest of them. I would say it's officially the biggest out of the wand boxes. Now this one is Hagrid's wand. So you're not going to see just a wand with this one. You are going to see the pink umbrella. Still in the plastic. So hopefully you can see all of this bad boy because he's very big. I like what they did with this because if you look at the handle on here, it does kind of look like just a really big wand handle. And then just the iconic little pink umbrella of Hagrid's. Now 
it does actually work um, as an umbrella. It's not meant for rain though. It's more of a sun umbrella. But if you open it up, it's a little scary because I don't want to break it. You feel like you're going to break it because you have to make it really tight. Okay. Let's see. You've got your little pink umbrella that you can also use to do magic. I was super excited to get this one. Whenever I first saw it come out on the Noble Collection, I was like, I got to have that one. It's just so cool. I just love that they did this. They didn't have to make us an umbrella wand, but they did. So there's Hagrid's umbrella, or so there's Hagrid's wand. Okay, so the last wand that I have for you guys is also a little different. This guy actually doesn't come with a wand box, uh, but it is Lucius Malfoy's walking stick also wand. So you can see he's also a big boy. He, I was kind of testing him out today and for me he's like the perfect size walking stick. So when you open this guy you can see I just love this because it's so so correct to the films. But he's got his snake on top here with his emerald eyes. And they made this one really cool because the attachment for the wand to the walking stick is actually magnetic. So you can just pull it right in. And you've got Lucius's wand. Now his wand is very long, I guess probably because it's got this snake head that you use to hold it. This one is just so fun. This one definitely feels the best to hold, so Lucius knew what he was doing. But yeah, this guy's really big, and again, just super cool that they were able to put him in the walking stick. And like, again, since it's magnetized, whenever you put it back in, watch it just kind of click right back into place. Now, it'll be fun to try to hang up on my wall or figure out how to display him, but still excited to have it. So that's it for the first part of my Universal Hall video. All of the ones I have are awesome. Um, I'm very glad that I was able to purchase all of them and that they had the promotion going on, so I was actually able to get a few of them for free. Uh, now I will say out of all of them, my favorite one, it's really a mix up between them because I I really like Newt's wand. I like having it, you know, he's the main character in the Fantastic Beasts franchise and I think his wand is really unique and I love the little teeth marks on it. But I'm also really excited that I have Lucius's because just feeling his, it's so, it's heavy and well made and very unique. So what is your guys' favorite wand? Is it one of the ones that I purchased at Universal or do you guys prefer a different character? Uh, just leave me a comment, let me know, because I would love to know what you guys like and keep adding more wands to my collection. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time in the comment room.